I'm Senator John McCain. This past November, we as a nation underwent a bruising process, which ultimately has led to this. Two evenly matched sides, each with its own goals, each with its own strategy for victory. The upcoming fight will be hard hitting. Some will rise as heroes. Others will be shamed for dropping the ball. But of this I am certain, one side will emerge victorious. It's going to consume every ounce of my attention. That's why I'm clearing my schedule to focus solely on this battle. Let the game begin. Paid for by the committee to give John McCain a free plug on TV. Gonna swore the stadium's around here somewhere. Hey, Jimmy, face it, we're lost. Great job of navigating. Hey, I found my way to the national championship. Jimmy, I've got three of them. You haven't even made it the College Football Hall of Fame. You want directions? Hey, slow down, you're messing up my hair. Hey, a hurricane to mess up my helmet, man. At least I've got hair. Oh, oh, oh. You're still sore at me because you never beat me at Oklahoma State. You forget about my answer. Oh, I wish I could, but Hall of Fame, baby. Look out! Just a good old boy. Great, now look what you've done. Hey, Jimmy, there's a stadium down there. Good thing for you, the roof's open. Go Sooners! Go Sooners! Hey, what's a Sooner? You're fixing to find out, big boy. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, oh. I'm locked in! <laughs> I can't get out! <laughs> Let Fox finish up your New Year's Day bowl game menu by adding a little spice to your life at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Fans from Norman, Oklahoma and Boise, Idaho have each traveled over a thousand miles to Glendale to see Ian Johnson and the unbeaten Boise State Broncos tangle with Adrian Peterson. Yes, he is back from injury and suiting up for the Sooners. For Jared Zabransky and the Broncos, this is a chance to prove they belong with the big boys. With the likes of Rufus Alexander lead a determined Sooner squad that's won eight straight. Boise State, just the second non-BCS conference school to crash the big party in Oklahoma, making its first Tostitos Fiesta Bowl appearance in almost a quarter century. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year, and welcome to the Tostitos BCS Bowl Bash. This, of course, a week-long cross-country journey, which will make stops in Miami and New Orleans, but it begins and ends right here in Glendale, Arizona. I am Chris Rose, here to get you all set tonight for the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Of course, we've got Oklahoma and Boise State going at it, and joining me are two of the greatest college coaches of all time. Jimmy Johnson brought that swagger to the U, going 52-9 and nine during his five-year stint, not far from South Beach, and he won it all in 1980. Our guest analyst won 12 conference championships at Oklahoma, posted three national titles, his 837 winning percentage, his fourth all-time, Barry Switzer, Jimmy Johnson, or should I say Thelma and Louise after that opening. <laughs> you guys look chummy out there. Hey, you know, he, he locked that door on me. No, I didn't, Jimmy. I, I don't know why I had to be the chauffeur. Uh, Jimmy and I go back a long way, Chris. Uh, 46 years, Oof. played both at Arkansas. Great time there. Won a national championship with Frank Broyles. He's the nose guard. Can you believe that? Oh, way to go. Hey, you know. We battled all those years, but we're back together again. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, tonight we've got a great matchup. All the fans here are fired up, as you can hear it. Boise State and Oklahoma, one and two respectively in winning percentage since 99, but two very different programs. OU, seven national titles. Boise State playing in just its seventh bowl game. I mean, Jimmy Johnson, is that Chris Peterson's biggest hurdle right now, telling his kids, you belong out here, guys? Well, Chris, I remember when Barry and I were back at Oklahoma together, we always said when a team would walk on the field, they were beat because they had it in their mind that they were already beat. They didn't feel like they could beat us at Oklahoma. That's right. That, they, they knew who they were playing. Everybody got off the bus. We were going to get their best shot. But I think this game has more interest than any other game in the country other than Ohio State and the Florida in the national championship game because everyone wants to know, can the little guys play with the big guys? And we're going to find out tonight. 
Well, guys, of course, we are just getting all revved up from out here in Glendale, Arizona, and I'm not talking about starting that car. You guys can't go anywhere. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to find out why Boise State's feeling so blue. What's the deal with their field of dreams? We're going to let the locals explain the mystery of the magic carpet. The Broncos looking to extend their winning streak to 13 games. Chris Peterson all smiles right now, but what about afterward? We will find out. Now, of course, the fans from Boise State and OU enjoying themselves at the pregame festivities in Glendale where good things happen at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Back in a bit. Welcome back to the Built for Tough BCS pregame show on Fox. Closing in on kickoff from Glendale, Arizona. And you know what? There are just two 12-0 teams in Division I. One of them, Ohio State, will play a week from tonight on this field in the Tocitos BCS National Championship game. The other, Boise State doesn't deserve a shot at the title. Not my words. They belong to Broncos senior center Jadon Daly, who said, we're not going to think we're an upper-tier program because we're not. We're in the whack. Well, that mantra may work in the here and now, but not necessarily in the future. Well, we keep saying it's the best kept secret in the Northwest. People will come here from out of town and always talk about how nice the people are no matter where you're from. The other thing I think is interesting is you can go downtown at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night and feel cozy or safe. It's just a fabulous place to raise your family and a great place to go watch football. It's a great time to be a Bronco. Like the talk of the town. Boise State's always been good in football. I mean, if you look at the record past six, eight, ten years, I mean, you follow back to when Boise State was a junior college, really good football. We've been so focused all season and really taking one game at a time. And when we won our last game, we felt great about it, but we really didn't know how everybody would react. And it was really kind of surprising how the community and how all of our Bronco Nation uh, reacted. I mean, the tickets were selling faster than they could keep them in. Boise State, 12 and all, perfect season for the second time in three years. Our Bronco fans are very passionate. I kind of always joke about, you know, we got 30,000 coaches out here with us each, each Saturday. You know, they all care about the football team and the university and what's going on here. And like I said, I mean, you can just feel this thing continuing to grow by leaps and bounds. This place is some, uh, something special, and you know, you just kind of wonder what, what this thing could be like in another five or 10 years. I mean, you really do. I mean, there's some great football programs out there that are in communities like ours. And I think, you know, if they can do it, why can't we? Obviously a tremendous job done by Chris Peterson and his predecessor Dan Hawkins as well and he has uh, the entire admiration of the entire coaching industry including Bob Stoops who uh, he was hanging with before the game but guys numbers are numbers since going division one a decade ago Broncos are just two and eight against ranked opponents so that includes 0 and seven against teams from the power conferences Jimmy do they have to win tonight to legitimize their program. Well, I think they either have to win or they have to play it close because, you know, they did a great job this year. Undefeated, they beat Oregon State, they beat Hawaii, two good football teams. But the reality is there is a mismatch physically between these two teams. They have to play tough early. They got to hang in there. If they can hang in there, hey, they can play with Oklahoma. Hey, everybody in the country is pulling outside of Oklahoma fans for Boise State. Mm -hmm. This is a Rocky Balboa movie right here. Right. David versus Goliath, and never once for the underdog. That's a natural emotion, Chris. Uh, they have got to prove themselves. They've earned the right to be here. Emotional edge is on their side. This is the 40th game for Oklahoma. It's number seven for them. Well, the likes of Jared Zabransky, who's 32-5 and five as a starter at Boise State. I mean, he wasn't even on the radar for a lot of schools out of the Pac-10, out of the Big 12, Big 10. I mean, these guys have something to prove, correct? Yeah, and, and they've got good football players. You know, Ian Johnson can run the football. He led the nation in scoring with 24 touchdowns, so they can play.